Now then, now then, now then, now then. How are we diddling? Yes, we're in the bus. We're going to do a long flight. Yes, we certainly are. It'll be a, a split flight, I guess. Um, I'll cut out the boring middle cruisy majiggy. But as you can see at the bottom of your screen, Speedbird 664. So close, so close. Just two off. Um, 664, we're going from the lovely rainy London Heathrow, EGLL to LCLK, which is Larnaca in Crete, um, South Greece. So, yes, indeedy. Now, I've done the route plan. We've got a company route from uh, BA. Um, and as you can see, we are here in the 320. We are online. We are very much online. I don't think it's this dude, but there is another chappy. Um, if I click that button, is that going to show? No, it's definitely not that dude. So there is, uh, you can see that spy up here. Now, I appreciate this is all going to be too small to see on a phone screen or even on if you're Chromecasting it up to a telly. Um, but there are, you know... Not a huge number of departures out of Heathrow, actually, um, compared to normal. Um, but there is another dude, Speedbird662, uh, also coming out of Heathrow for Larnaca, yet to depart. Uh, he's in a treble, so um, a bone treble 7, so it's not that guy, because that's a 7-4. In fact, the easy way of doing this will be to do air traffic. Speedy Birdie 662. Oh, he's on the taxi already. Now, where's he taxiing to? Because at the moment, that Sims Atis for Heathrow is saying departures off 27. But real world, they're currently doing single ops, which they've been doing for a while in lockdown, on 09 right. So, well, that's what I filed for. We'll see what actually happens. Um, so, let me just click some buttons and make sure that I've got everything running. It looks like I have. V pilots all up. BA virtuals all hey. up. Need to hit mute on my phone. That's done. I forgot to grab my coffee. Never mind. We'll figure it out in a moment. Um... So, yeah, let's stick some power on and get this show on the road, because it'd be nice if we could catch that guy up. Um, I'd have thought he might be faster than us, but I'm, I'm not sure. So we'll stick on some lights. We'll stick them on. We'll go to retract on those. Beacon can stay off, because we're not starting to engines just yet. Uh, and Adairs can go to nav for our navigation systems so we'll turn on the displays it's the most irritating bit of this aircraft is having to turn these displays on but there we go that's all part and parcel of the thing in my bob we'll do that in a moment so according to pfpx we've got our load sheet here so passengers are going to be 174 in that goes now why can't they load yet I not open the door? No, I haven't, because I'm a melon. I connected the jetway and didn't open the blooming door. There we go. Start boarding, please. Thank you. We've got... Oh, we actually do have some cargo. So that's 1.444 tonnes of t cargo. So always round up. Uh, in fact, this is actually what's going to get loaded. Yeah, go on, let's do it. Fine, whatever. We should rain down on that one, but never mind. Uh, and then our tanks are 14 and a half tons. So 14 points. Oops, that's a trim wheel. 0.495. So 49 goes to. So yeah, that literally rounds right up to 50. And let's start getting some of that goodness in. Hockey duckies. <laughs> So, let us, I'll tell you what, let's flick over to the radio so we've got something to listen to, rather than me yabbering on. 1185, of course. We have Heathrow Tower. 185. 
Does it not do the ping pong anymore in V Pilot? It used to give you a little ping pong to say that you'd actually connected to a valid um, call sign, uh, frequency, as it were. Like a guy who's actually online, I mean. Uh, for some reason, it's trying to default to 2015, so we'll chin that off. And then we'll go to align the IRS. We're going to key in Heathrow to LCLK. Larnaca. And thankfully it found the route. Take a second to load that in because it's uh, quite a long route. As far as I'm aware, this is the furthest or the longest route the A320 series um, fly for BA. Um, <clears throat> it's about five hours. Uh, 664. Cost index of zero. And we're cruising apparently at 350. No step. And then our diver is LCPH, which is Pathos. And then our block fuel was what? 14.5. Now we can't do our takeoff performance yet until we actually know which runway we're going off. Weirdly, it's a very odd transition here at Heathrow. Uh, we'll do 1500, 1500 for the thrust reduction, and which is mainly for noise. Uh, and the acceleration altitude, the engine out acceleration altitude will bring down a smidge. Please tell you that's on the seatbelt, 4 4 November. 4 4 November, good morning, passing message. Uh, and we're at gate 508. 4 4 November, hello, passing message. Right, well, while air traffic sort themselves out, let me just grab my pot of coffee. It's me, so don't worry. That's good, 778 Foxtrot Radio Check. Read it, Bertie, fine, Tommy. Uh, yeah, that's fine, sorry, I think I got thought I bought up my sound uh, system up again. Uh, it cleared to Stockholm, it's a Brooklyn Spark 7 Golf departure, score 6241, and I'll give you a rerouting uh, to Waypoint in Gotham. And I uh, just wondering what was the reason for the reroute? Uh, you, um, you don't have to leave UK airspace on the Dixie Pub One Four Four routing. So I'm going to take you towards um, kind of more towards the east coast of the FIR, um, the Mike Six Zero Four Railway. Got you, no worries. Yeah, yeah, Regi, it's going to be 4 for November, Regi 5x5. Five five. Regi 5 five now, thanks. Um, Q4 Golf on board and Q Nation 101, 0 Boeing 7. Did he say 5.5? Yeah, uh, <laughs> Class. One Golf departure. Squawk is 7660. One Met One Golf, Squawk 7660, speed 4 for November. Good, 4 for November, Regi Five Echo Alpha to taxi. Five Echo Alpha taxi left Alpha to hold a Lehman. Left Alpha hold over. Five Echo Alpha. Heathrow Tower. Good morning, Speedbird six six four. Speedbird six six four. Good morning, party message. Morning, Speedo 664, uh, stand 508, Airbus A321, information, golf, clearance to Larnaca, please. Good, 664, Roger, clearance to Larnaca, it's a dead link to golf departure, squawk 5222. Roger, clear to uh, Larnaca, dead link to golf and 5222 in the box, Speedo 664. So, 
five treble two in the box. That's our transponder. Five two two two. And we'll stick that on TA. Oop, not TARA, TA only. Um, We're still loading. So let's have a look at the Detling 2 Golf. So let's do a flipperoo on here to click and do that button. Yes, there we go. And Sid and Detling 2 Golf. What was that? Oh, right, whatever. Uh, Detling 2 Golf. So that means we're going off 2 7 left. Okay, fine, whatever's. That is fine. So, Detling 2 Golf, you can just see the here. And if we we're going off 2 7 right, it would be the 2 Fox. Uh, so, 2 Golf. Hello, that was Pitbull 652. I had a brief disconnect from the voice channel. Have you clear me if you take up, please? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get a uh, release from the departure controller uh, because for southbound departures, it requires just a bit more separation. Oh, don't you worry, sorry, I just uh, contacted you just because I had this British mm, connection. Oh, okay, no problem. So what we can do then is we can go to our flight plan. If we click on Heathrow here and departure, um, let me just flip that back to six as well. So two seven left, Detling two Golf, insert. Four five one push to start to face north. Flip that to plan, and now flick through that, and we can see that it's put the route in. There's Detling, Dover, and so on and so forth. So hopefully you hear me. So that looks all good. Right, so now we know we're on the Detling 2 Golf, what we can do is we can have, if I flick screen back on, so we can have a look at the runway. Um, so we've got 3,500 uh, metres roughly to play with. Um, you could do it properly from working out the intersections and so on, because we're likely to be going from here. Oh, no, November 3. I would have thought so we're not going to get the full runway length um and to be perfectly honest with you i can't be bothered working it all out uh so we'll we'll just wing it and put uh 3200 meters something like that just yeah we'll just wing it <laughs> as quill would say what's the worst that can happen eh what's the worst that can happen so if I pull up this lovely bit of freeware here, uh, that's horrifically zoomed out. Uh, well, this is TPC, Takeoff Performance Calculation Calculator, version 1.6 uh, freeware. Um, works for the buses only. So our key in A321, if you can see that. Uh, we'll key in... Yeah, between 3,000 and 3... Two. Elevation is less than a thousand. Now the weather. I'm going to take the ATIS weather and play the game a little bit. So with golf, we have surface wind two four zero eleven knots. So eyeball in that, it's going to be a headwind of between six and ten. Outside air temperature is sixteen degrees, which is that bracket. Q and H one zero one zero sticks us around about there. I'll take off weight. I click that one seventy nine one seven six tons uh, kilos. Sorry, flaps one. We don't need anti ice. Runway condition is wet. Click the button. Right. And this gives us our V speeds. I'll talk through these again as we go in. Uh, and our flat up three, I think, is chatting doo doo. Uh, and a flex of 45. So, right, those numbers are on there. Let me go back to a screen you can actually see and go to performance. So we can key in the V speeds. V1. Um, this is your minimum speed for takeoff, 
so 143. The R is your rotation speed, so when you actually pull back on the stick, 148. Uh, and, v and V2 is your safety speed. For your minimum speed for safe flight. Now, I reckon up 3.0 is going to give us a warning. And we've got a flex temp of 45, so that tricks the engine into thinking it's hotter than it is. So it reduces its power and reduces the amount of fuel. Um, so it means you don't do a full power takeoff, so you save a bit of fuel. So if you've got a long runway, you don't need to do a full power takeoff. Or your light, or whatever. So that's that done. Boarding and everything is done. Oh. Wonder why nothing was happening. Press the wrong button. Oh, get the jet way away. Away that goes. You don't have to reply to a standby. Uh, ground services. So we can get rid of that and get rid of that. So that's all set up. We'll stick the weather, ra weather radar settings in that are light. We'll disconnect the nose wheel steering. We'll fire up the uh, APU, APU, the auxil auxiliary power unit, so we can get a bit of air. Which we need air to start the main engines. And I should have left those connected. Yeah, right. 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 Yeah, there we go, APU is up. So we'll turn the bleed on. And we'll stick the beacons on because we're going to need them. Uh, that signals that we're pretty much ready to start the engine. Uh, so everything's done down there. Is that okay? Yes. We'll go to dot speed on these. Flight level 350 until told otherwise. And the dark cockpit makes it very easy to see what you haven't done. Right, so we are now ready to push. Oops, sorry. One three, one three two six is our next frequency. And London Speedbird 664, stand 508, ready for push and start, please. Facing south, uh, Speedbird 664. So that is tail right. So P and then 2 to, uh, in FSX. Parking brake can come off and we'll start engine number 2. Uh, 
the NFSX. If you just press P, it does a straight push. If you press P and then button 1, it'll do tail left. And if you do P and then button 2, not at the same time, one after the other, uh, it'll do tail right. So because the APU's on, it's got air so it can spin the engine. So we want to get the show on the road because uh, Chappie is ahead of us in his treble seven. It'd be nice to catch him up. We probably won't, but. Oh, and it looks like uh, London's gone offline now. So, all right, because the FSX, uh, yeah, the FSX pushback sucks and doesn't follow the AFCAD, or at least it doesn't for me. Then we'll kill the pushback there. Uh, APU can come off. We don't need you anymore. Thank you kindly. And we'll flick that button. Oh, trim. That's what we're doing. So flight controls. Full left, full right, neutral, full up, full down, neutral, rudder, full left, full right, neutral. Pitch trim up three. Oh, it is in the green. The call is checked. Flaps one. Speed brakes armed. RTO to max. Auto throttle can come on. Uh, and yeah, it's moaning because I've got the parking brake on. That's fine. Uh, so that's all good. That's all fine. Uh, we can go to arc on there. Lush. Lovely. So we are round about there. So we're probably going to get a taxi on Alpha to November 3 or November 2 Whiskey or 2 Echo. One of them I would suspect. So lights are on. That's all good. And so a speedbird 664 for taxi, please. Alpha, hold low, man. Speedbird 664. So, bit of throttle. We're quite heavy. So, where's low, man? Oh, it's all, yeah, it's practically at the hold. And brakes, pedal pressed and released. Check zero, which is, I'm doing out the corner of my eye down there. Oh, well, we're online, so I can't do a Ryan Scare taxi, so let's pull the throttle back a smidge. <laughs> Don't smoke, kids. Horrible habit. Horrible to get rid of. Very expensive. Bad for your health. Blah, blah, blah. Genuinely, I wish I'd never started. And I think pretty much everyone I know who smokes says that. Once you pop, you just can't stop. And it costs a flipping fortune. Money I'd much rather spend on Haribo and booze, which is probably no better, to be honest. I don't know, but there we go. This is what it is. 
If you like Harry Bowen booze, don't try your first smoke because you won't get much of it. Because you'll be spending it all on flipping tobacco. Oh, that was my best turn I've ever done taxiing. Wasn't lined up, but I didn't do the wobble, 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 smack the wing on the floor type job that I, uh, that I always do. Oh, we got a duty taking off. He's in a Queen of the Skies. Boeing 747-800. Very old. Well, the 747 is an old aircraft. The 800 is obviously not, but it's, a, it's an old. It is still an old design, an old thing, still going strong. Concorde era, that aircraft. <coughs> the 74 is really a very, very old now. So impressive, it's still going. Roger, hold uh, November to Echo, Speedbird 664. Uh, November to Echo. So that, that is the hold, and we're pretty much going to get full runway length. So uh, that's that's where I would imagine where that dude was. He might have been at November 1, but I don't know. One is right at the far end of the runway, two's a little bit in, three's a little bit more in. So each time you're just reducing a bit of your takeoff run. Uh, we're doing a good 32 knot taxi here. Surprised he's not had a go at me for that. So we'll go mode C on the transponder. Uh, we'll turn the weather radar on. We'll go lights on. We're not. And away he goes, and we're going to be following right up his tailpipe. With a bit of caution wake. Uh, I'm going to turn the gain down on the weather radar because that's just going to drive me bananas. It's a bit better. Now, he's still not shouting at us for speeding, so I'm just I'm fully idle on the throttles. I still haven't got joystick cam working. I will get that going one day. Um, I need to do a bit of rearranging in my room and put some speakers up and yeah. Bit, bit of stuff and it'll uh, it'll get fixed once all that's done and I've tidied all my wires up and things. All station feature broadcast, all station feature broadcast, new information hotel current QNH 1010, information hotel QNH 1010 broadcast bands. Split at 7 with Deep Clear Dallas, on that one Fox Trust, walk 7670 hotel 1010 current. So that's November 3. That's November 2 Whiskey West, and then the next one is November 2 Echo. Oh, London's back on, brilliant. Oh no, he's gone back off. Fine November 2 Echo, clear for takeoff, 27 left, speed of 664, thanks. Can't go via anything else to be perfectly frank, so I don't know why they say that. I'm sure there's a reason that I don't understand and they absolutely do and think I understand it. But it's clear, it's unambiguous, and that is what's important. You don't want anyone doing random stuff because of interpretation, of course. So, here we are. 
Quick check of heading, 2-7, that looks good to me. Power. Yeah, trim not in takeoff range. I knew it was going to say that. So I don't know why TPCs had, had a bit of a wobble there. Look how much rudder I've got on there, just to keep us straight. Come on, we need to accelerate quicker than this. If you want five kilo, hold short, okay. There we go. We'll hold short at Echo, uh, if you want five kilo. Oof, that was a long roll. Oh, we are heavy. If you want five kilo, give way to the American triple seven and taxi Delta Alpha. Hold it down. We'll get to American and then taxi and hold to the family job. Yes, we are very heavy. I'm going to flip the autopilot on just because I'm, I'm struggling to fly that with the trim so far off. So we're up, we're accelerating, things are good. So runway turn-off lights can come off, nose lights can come off, leave the main lights on is fine. Um, got to do that, my bad thrust to climb so we just drop it into the detent there sorry there climb uh, and flex and we've just passed the s speed there Are we on that spy yet? Not yet. There's 662. I'm going to mark him. So he's just coming over towards um, Dunkirk. Such a child, such a child, oh my gosh. I can following the big guy. Brilliant. So speed brakes are disarmed, flaps are up, gear is up, lag spike is happening. Yeah, all good. Q&H, what's our altitude at the moment? 6,000, so we've not transitioned yet. But we are well out of tower's control, so I'm surprised we're still with tower, actually. Oh, there we go, there we are. Let me just check BA is going. Yes, it is. Fan dabby dozy. Cracking.
a nice aircraft to do like. Really? A 737 going from there? So we are, oh I didn't start the watch, never mind, there we go, that's the, the stopwatch down there, a few flight time, but anyway, never mind, it'll just be a few minutes out. Yeah, not a lot to do actually, not a lot to be done. I think he's not good enough, so you stand by and check. He's on it. Yeah, I think we can. Is this James? I think this is James. Oh no, it's not Sebastian. Very good controller. Although we should have handed us off by now, I'm sure. But reasonably sure. In fact, no, I'm 100% sure. Four tons of fuel on landing. Yeah, we should be on that frequency, I'm pretty sure of it. But we've not had a contact me from him and we've not been handed off, so... Yeah, I could ask. But I'm going to assume, because this controller has been absolutely on the money, that it's me who's in error and uh, I shouldn't be worrying. Hey Firm, Speeder 664. London on 134125, no worries, thanks for your control, see ya. What are we on, the Deathling 2 Golf? Um, what are we, four, 15 miles from Deathling? Golf, Bravo, Alpha, Fox, Richard, equal 3265 to take, and you're rooting? Well, 3265, the rooting will be... Excellent to London Control, good morning. Speedbird 664 with you. 13 miles from Detling on the Detling 2 Golf out of Heathrow, 6,000 feet, 1010. Now, flight level 180, speed of 664. So we spin that round to 180, yep, you can't see that. 180, and then we pull the button out, which is right click. 
Deacon Onyx. And that's an altitude intervention. Was that me? Sure, it was speedbird nine something. Yeah, we haven't got well in. Well in's not this way, is it? What's this? What's this chap here? It says number 172. Trundling along. Nice. Good. I like seeing VFR. So we pass transition, so over to standard. So right click to pull that out into standard. Aircraft yeah. mode. It's just going to figure itself out. And there's flight level 100. So lights off. Wing light can come off as well. No need for that one on. And we're all good. We're all good up to climb. One two two eight for UK Pride. Is it Pride Week? Or Pride Day or something? You should know that really. Well, I say I should know it, I've got no reason to know it, but it, it's good to know all the things all the time. And you see the progress bar along the top here. Um, so currently it's mainly white, but you can see we've just got a little smidge of black. Um, when we're at Larnaca, that will all be black along the top, so it gives you an indication of how much further we've still yet to go. As I say, we'll, um, once we're sort of up at cruise, then uh, I'll pause the recording and it'll be a big jump cut to the top of descent, effectively. Um, because uh, I've got a few bits and bobs I need to do, and quite frankly, watching a plane in cruise is uh, dull. So, um, yeah, we'll just do a jump cut so you don't have the pain of watching all America of that. Well, unless you want to. I mean, if, I'm assuming you guys don't want to watch the, the sort of cinematic for, for the entire cruise. Maybe you find it quite... Maybe you find it quite peaceful and tranquil seeing, you know, for four hours or whatever, these lovely cinematic shots. If you do, let me know down in the comments. Makes no odds to me just leaving the thing recording. My internet's good enough to upload, so I don't really care. Over to Unicom, thank you very much. 664. That was naughty, I truncated my call sign there, you're not supposed to do that. Unless the controller does it first. But, yeah. 122 two, decimal 8. So we're now, um, when I free, so I'm going to go, whoops, to managed altitude. And uh, up to, whoops, 3, oh no, 350. So we've got the dot. Can't see that because of that spy. So, if I just pull that out, we've got three five zero there without the dots. That means the aircraft's going to climb to three five zero, and that's that's that. If I push it in with left click, we get the dot. That means a maximum of three five zero, but the aircraft's going to manage the altitude. 
So it's going to manage how fast it thinks we should climb. If we've got any restrictions, so say at Dover you can't be above flight level 250 or something, it will conform to all of those restrictions with the dots. Without the dot, it's an override. It's an altitude intervention. Whereas this, we are clearing the aircraft up to 350, but it will follow any restrictions and what it thinks is the most efficient way of doing things. So we're giving it all the options. <clears throat> so what we go? Oh, coffee is good. There's another drug you shouldn't get addicted to. Mm, holy moly. So yeah, in typical Airbus fashion, not a lot to be done. Mind you, at this stage there wouldn't be a lot to be done in a Boeing either, so... Uh, we've got a warning down here. Oh, new cruise altitude 420. Yeah, because I pressed the wrong button. So let's key that back in. 350, that's also tallying in with the recommended maximum. Optimus 330, the best cost. So minimal fuel burn and all that sort of jazz. Um and the recommended maximum is 3.5. So the crews that we calculated in the flight planning stage, or that I did off screen in PFPX, um, said, yeah, 3.50 is probably what you want. Uh, I don't think it gave us a step climb. Let me check that, though, actually. Uh, operational flight plan. No, straight up to 3.50. And it's 3.50 practically all the way Dasney, where the hell's Dasney? Yeah, it is, yeah, 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 all the way. Um so we don't have to do any funky business with step climbing. So I can actually close that completely. I can close that, close that, I'll press that button. Yes, I can. Oh, brilliant. Navigraph charts moving maps working again. Um, so, I suppose to just show you guys this while we've got a bit of downtime. So, yeah, got the moving map thing working again. That was just a, an update. Uh, and there we are. Pink triangle. We've, uh, we've left Blighty now on our way over, sort of just north of uh, Dunkirk to uh, a fantastic uh, waypoint in uh, Coxsied. I don't know how to pronounce that at all, not in the slightest. Um, but the uh, VOR is cock, K-O-K. -K. <laughs> and, um, oh God, who is it? The guys who do the, they've got the full simulator thing. Um, <laughs> oh, that's going to bug me. Um... Uh, oh, that's going to really bug me. Stand by while I find what I'm talking about. I uh, don't want Chewy. Oh, stand by, stand by. I want to say FS Live, but it's not. It's. Ah, I'm sure you're all screaming at the screen. Um. Right. 
Uh, no, I don't want Air Force Proud. Oh, lemons all day, every day. Right, I think it's on here. Yes, it is. It's these Simfest. That's it. Simfest. Right, this is naughty showing YouTube on YouTube. Uh, credit lemons all day, every day. Um, it's these guys. Oh, it's Matt Davis. I've not watched any of him for quite a long time. But yeah, Simfest. Let's see if we can find Simfest. Give these guys a watch. They are hilarious, and that sim and their their sim is is stunning quite frankly in their setup and everything um but just to give you a a taster that's what their simulator looks like i mean it is bonkers good um christ look <laughs> that's innsbruck two seven four sevens <laughs> But seriously, right, they're, they're top. Don't get me wrong, they are very good at flying and doing all the good stuff. But they have such a laugh. And it is, like, jaw-droppingly funny in moments. Absolutely jaw-droppingly funny. Uh, and anyway, why, why we got onto that is because there, there's a funny video out there of them. And their, their route, I think they go from Brest to Cock and breast being in france or something like that anyway and the route is just really really funny and very very childish of course um but you stick a bunch of blokes together in a simulator with some rude words and they're just you know buckled laughing absolutely buckled so here we are inbound cock and just so you know i'm not actually making any of it up there there it is on the screen um what are we at? Uh, flight level 300, so we're not far away. We're tanking it as well. We've got some good uh, good speeds going. Wait, what? Oh shit, we've got... We've got a guy literally right in front of us. Or have we just passed? I'm not seeing him. ELY 170. I'm sure you saw it on the screen. There he is. I think we've literally just flown straight up his arse and passed him. Oh, that was naughty. If if that guy, Noem Bar, just somehow happens to see this video, I apologise profusely. That was me not paying attention. I I absolutely apologise for that. Conflict. Ly 170. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and I've just spelled conflict wrong because I put a hash in the middle of it. Never mind. There we go. Fine. Well, if he's on Unicom, he'll see my apology. And I do profusely, profusely apologise. That was entirely my fault. Um. So on that trump. Oh, well, tilt is not above anyway because I forgot to set it. Uh, but we'll put the weather radar tilt, we'll sort that out. And I can turn the calibration back, well, the gain back up on the weather. Possibly a bit high. Oh, he didn't even notice.
please slow. Well, no, because if I slow down, you're going to catch me up. I am ahead of you, yeah? Oh no, he's just realised. I slow, yes. No, he doesn't need to slow down. I'm doing about 40 knots faster than he is. And he's dropping into Luxembourg. Wait. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm slowing. Okay, fine. Suit yourself. Mate, I'm going, like... He's doing 486, I'm doing 515. Have a good flight. Yeah, same to you, bud. I'm, I'm just going to be, even on cost index zero, I'm going considerably quicker than he is. So, what's he even in? Is he in a 7.3? Yeah, a 7.3.8. But I'm like in a long range cruise uh, and he's going into Luxembourg, so he's going to be descending pretty soon anyway. Mm. Oh. Delish. So there we go. We are now at cruise. You'll have heard the engine spool back. Um, so that is us up, up in cruise. Uh, just passing over. Where's that? Is that Arnhem? No, it's no, no. What am I talking about? We're over Belgium, you doofus. Uh, passing Ghent in Belgium, sort of, on way sort of south side of Brussels, coming up to there ish. Um, so yeah, that spy is quite slow to update. So take um you know, this moving map with a pinch of salt that you can see. Um, we are a good hundred at least miles, probably more uh, further ahead of that, what you're seeing. So we're going to fly, in fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to show you, and then we'll, then we'll do the jump cut. Click. So, yeah, there we are, coming up towards sort of Brussels-ish, you know, a couple hundred miles yet to go. In fact, probably not that far. Um, and we're flying over south side of Germany, um, over, um, oh my gosh, why has my brain gone to complete mush today? Um, not Austria, southern Germany, what's it called? It's like a pseudo state, um. Um, oh my days. Oh, Bavaria, that's it, Bavaria. Ay, ay, ay. So, <laughs> over West Germany, down through sort of Bavaria, Austria, Slovenia, um, over, over a bit of Montenegro, Kosovo. Uh, Northern Macedonia, skipping over a bit of Greece, and then over the sort of Greek archipelagos, um, right over the top of Rhodes, more or less. And then we don't actually start our descent until we're about here. Um, in fact, it's just shy of that. I think it's about here. Uh, we start our descent into Larnaca. We can see Paphos over there. Uh, that is our um, divert. And yes, it is an F. Not a TH, so it is Paphos. That's one of my pet hates, is the difference in pronunciation between F and F. 
but yeah you know some things just really get get on your tits but that's it um and the approach in Salonica is reasonably interesting it's it's fairly straightforward We've got iron upper up here as well if you're going out on the booze and uh yeah so you'll you'll next see us i'll probably bring us back in it'll be we'll be past roads sorry cypress did i say crete earlier on i think i did crete is heraklion but um, yeah, so roughly, you know, we'll have passed costs and roads and we'll be sort of roundabout here, depending on when I actually notice. And that'll be our, you know, getting ready for our descent prep and our top of drop. So I will see you in what, for you guys, will be a very brief moment. Uh, for me, it's going to be about four hours real time. So, see you very shortly. <laughs>